Hi everyone. I've got a trip to Manchester Airport today, and whilst I'm going to Manchester Airport to drop one of my family members off, I'm going to run a little experiment. And I've been told by a couple of people that these Focus STs, when on the motorway, are more economical in sports mode. So what we're going to do, we're going to reset the trip meter and the MPG, and we're going to run it in normal mode on the way there, and I'm going to reset it while I'm there, and I'm going to run it in sports mode on the way back. We're going to see whether actually running in sports mode can be more economical. Let's go. On the way there, I followed the sat-nav, Waze in particular, which takes us the quickest route. As normal, I stuck to all speed limits and tried to use cruise control where possible. We went on to the M57 until we joined the M62, and although the weather conditions were pretty poor, I tried to stay at 70 wherever possible. We didn't have any hold-ups until we reached the last little part just before Manchester Airport, but it wasn't held up for too long. I would say that actually helped my miles per gallon figure on the way there. Welcome to Terminal 2 at Manchester Airport. How much do you have to pay to drop passengers off at the airport near you? Is that short, yeah? Yeah, it is. So, have a good holes. Thank you very much. Be good. See you, See you later. Right, so what did we do? 37.6 miles per gallon, 41 minutes. So let's reset it, turn it to sport mode, and then uh, let's try again. I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to use Waze, um, but I am going to um, try and take the same route home. I'm going to um, try and finish at the same point as well, um, back in Kirby, near to where we started. I'm just going to find my way uh, out of this first. Cash and card, so hopefully you can use my phone. Okie okay. Remember, this is totally legal, people. Using your phone apart from... Uh, situations like this um, is not I'm done five pound wow receipt um, yeah, yeah, yeah please I wouldn't mind the receipt that's all right leave it right off we go I just send me a little different way home but um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to drive in the same manner. Um, I'm going to stick to speed limits. I'm going to use cruise control when I can, which is exactly what I was doing on the way here. And let's see whether we can beat, what was it, 37 point something? That's pretty good going for this uh, this car. I usually get about 23, 24 just driving around doing the stuff that I do. But there's a lot of start stop with that. Um, so let's see whether this is a uh, myth proved. Or a myth busted. The car does always seem much faster in uh, in sport mode when I drive it. Um, I've got to put up with the uh, harder suspension. Um, we might get a few uh, different exhaust notes as well. But saying that, I am going to be using it still in that same smooth manner. So um, we will see. It's going to be an interesting one this for me. So I'm not just going to sit in lane one, I am going to try and make a similar amount of progress. I spent most of the journey here, sat at 70 on cruise control. It's quite difficult to manage when uh, the traffic's a little heavier, but I am going to try and do the same thing. So I'm not just going to settle for just sitting in uh, those left hand two lanes. If we need to make progress, I will do. And already, 
at this early stage without us being on a motorway for a long distance. It's looking like it's uh, 34.7. But the reason why I don't use sport mode that much is honestly the suspension. It's not um, the throttle response or even the sound. It actually sounds lovely when it's in sport mode, this car. But um, the roads literally, I find, in Merseyside are not good enough to cope with the harder suspension that we find. Um, so that's why I always go for, or generally, just go for the normal option. Motorways aren't too bad though. It's bearable. Now one thing that I would just quickly like to mention is that Liverpool is closer to sea level than Manchester. It's one the way here. We have been driving slightly uphill and on the way back we must be slightly driving downhill overall average. Wind conditions are not factored into this so it's not totally scientific but I do still think it's going to be an interesting little experiment. The weight of two passengers, I don't think that's going to make a blind bit of difference if I was honest. I think you'd really have to be pushing um, big weight in the car for um, fuel economy to be affected on that sort of scale but it still might have a little effect. So, to be truthful, downhill, less weight, it's likely to be a little bit more efficient on the way back. And also, if we're going really, really get down to the uh, crux of it, there's less fuel in the tank on the way home than there was on the way here. Because I'd filled up literally about five or six miles prior to starting this video. So what about the science behind potentially sports mode being more efficient, whether it is or whether it isn't, we'll yet, we're yet to see, we're yet to find out. Um, it's looking pretty comparable at the minute, but um, where will that potentially fuel saving come from? Well, because there's less acceleration needed because of the map of the engine in sport mode, that's probably where it potentially comes from. I'm not actually too technically minded on this. Um, is there any of my viewership who could shed a little light for everyone? I am being careful as well because the tyres that I've got on have not yet changed them for my uh, cross climate tyres. We're down to about 2, 2.2 millimetres of tread on the front. Usually don't let them get down this far but um, when your tyres haven't got as much tread, they're not as good at dispersing water. So in conditions like this, drive accordingly. That's why it's really important to keep uh, good tyres. Don't let them get down to the legal minimum. I usually change mine around 3 mil. There should not be a price to safety, don't forget. Would the standing water have an effect on uh, fuel economy? Yes, most definitely. Um, but again, I think I've already mentioned a few of the uh, factors that I can't keep in this uh, experiment. But we will soon find out how this is done. So I've mentioned about using cruise control and why is that a little bit more fuel efficient well there's less inputs um, the car's computer measures the speed quite accurately and if there's any uh, slight little reduce it will work and uh, alter the speed a lot, lot quicker and more accurately then you can use your accelerator pedal over a consistent period of time. So that's why I've tried to use the cruise control as much as I can on the way back as well. There's definitely a noticeable reduced need for the amount of acceleration to build the car back up to speed as well. 
interesting. Shows you just how little I've used sports mode since uh, I got this car and where are we? We're virtually a year old. It's about three weeks short of a year old this car is now. I'll always try and keep things moving wherever I can. This is where the normal mode comes into its own. It's because the sports mode doesn't have start stop, and I seriously think that that does uh, it does help with the economy with the uh, round town stuff. It does look as though we're going to be quite similar on distance and time, which is. Uh, which is good. I'm glad I've uh, I've kept to the same sort of pace. And this will do us. So I am going to just turn the car off. So. I'll just turn the ignition back on, so we've got a, we've got a dash cam recording, let's just turn my uh, rear wiper off, so we've got a, a little bit of quiet. And this is what we've been able to do. As you can see, it's a similar sort of amount of mileage, maybe a little touch um, longer, but I have just had to turn the car off and turn it back on again, but we've averaged 39 miles per gallon. So, it could very well be the truth. Sport mode, in these conditions, in this car, is more fuel efficient than normal mode. What's it like in your car? Bet you'll check the next time you do a journey. Keep safe everyone, I'll see you soon.